In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to find the midpoint and also the distance of two points. First, the midpoint. If we're given x1, y1 as our first point and x2, y2 as our second point, the formula for the midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2, where we add the x's of the two points and take the average, which give us the halfway point, and also add y1 and y2 and then divided by 2 again to find the average or the halfway point. If we're given an example such as negative 4 comma negative 3 and 2 comma 5, let's go ahead and plot these two points. First, the negative 4 comma negative 3 right here and then the 2 comma 5 then using the formula to find the midpoints, simply we're going to add the x1 and the x2 or the two x's of the points and then divide it by 2, comma, and then we're going to be adding the two y's, the negative 3 and the 5, and again, divide it by 2, where we get <coughs> negative 1 and 1 as our midpoint, which will be right here. Again, the midpoint is going to be at negative one, comma, one. Again, to find the midpoints of two points, all you have to do is add the x's of the two points divided by two, add the y's and divided by two. And here's how you find the distance between two points. Again, given x1, y1 as the first point and x2, y2 as the second point, the distance formula will be square root of x1 minus x2 quantity squared plus y1 minus y2 quantity squared. What's important to note here is that it doesn't have to be x1 minus x2. It could be x2 minus x1. And also here it could be y2 minus y1. So the order doesn't matter when you're finding the distance inside the square root. So to show you how this works, let's use an example. Negative 4 comma negative 3 as the first point and 2 comma 5 as the second point where we have 2 comma 5 up here and negative 4 comma negative 3 down here where the distance will be square root of negative 4 minus 2 squared, meaning x1 minus x2, plus negative 3 minus 5 squared, or the difference of the first y and the second y, where this will simplify as square root of 36 plus 64, or square root of 100, Therefore, the distance between these two points will be 10. On a quick note, the formula for the distance between two points actually comes from using the Pythagorean theorem. Here's why. If we were to make a right triangle like this, the distance from point negative 4, negative 3 to right here is going to be negative 4 to 2, which will be 6, and the height of that right triangle will be from negative 3 all the way up to 5, or distance of 8. If we were to let D be the hypotenuse of that triangle, then it's going to be 6 squared plus 8 squared equals D squared, or 36 plus 64 equals D squared, 100 equals D squared, making D, or the hypotenuse of that right triangle, equal 10, which of course is the distance between the two points. So I hope this lesson helps you in your study, in your algebra class, or prefer your tests when it comes to finding the midpoint and the distance between two points. Mm -hmm.